Hey guys, how you doing? It's Hector here. I want to talk to you today about the topic of healing. It is a debatable topic. Uh, it is something that you may have an opinion for or against. But today I want to let you know uh, that if you are a believer, it is a part of your life. It is a part of uh, what Jesus gave you. And so, from the very beginning, when Jesus was doing his ministry, his entire ministry surrounded healing. It wasn't just making somebody feel better. It was actually healing physical bodies. It was healing minds. It was making people whole. And so Jesus came and he made people whole. And he said, you know, the scriptures in Mark, they tell us that those same things will follow us who believe. You know, we will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. And so for me, even before I became a believer, uh, which was around 15 or 16 years old, you know, it just, you may have experienced it as well, it just doesn't seem right. It doesn't seem fair when people are sick and they're afflicted by hurts or injuries or they're dealing with something uh, like depression or they have anxiety attacks. You know, for me, anytime I experience that from, from other people, it just, it kind of made me angry. And so when I became a believer, there was something that I realized I had to come to. I had one of two choices. I could, one, create a theology around, you know, that healing, you know, was with Jesus. It was with the apostles, and that's where it began and ended. And I could just live this life um, not really believing it, you know, just saying really nice prayers for people and uh, just going about my day. But that's boring there's there's no excitement to that there's no risk to that and to be quite honest I didn't want to be I didn't want to be part of something that didn't bring wholeness to people in all areas so I decided to not take that first route I decided to take the second route which was to take a risk to put myself out there and that's what I want to share with you guys today what it looks like to take a risk and what it means and so I had to come to the conclusion that it is God's will to heal and yeah I know you might be saying well you know people pray all the time for people and they don't get healed well what if you pray for somebody and they do get healed and that's what I want to share with you today when I was about 17 years old, I was a freshman in college. I was playing football in Yuma, Arizona. Yep, that's like in a sand dune hill. You know, just a college out there in the middle of nowhere. But I was having a good time. It was my first time away from home. Me and my buddy were chilling in our dorm room. And in came one of our friends. His name was Debo. Yep, that's right. His name was Debo. He even had a tattooed on his arm. You know, Debo was about 6'3", 290 pounds just jacked big old defensive lineman well Debo had gotten injured uh, earlier uh, in the week and uh, he came in with crutches and he came in and he was crying he was super emotional Debo came in to get some prayer from me and my friend why because he just got word from the doctor that he tore his ACL he was gonna have to go back to Chicago and that was it his career was over so I could have put you know some nice words I could have said some nice prayers for Debo and send him on his way but God was challenging me at that same exact moment I was actually reading the Bible yes because I was being a good Christian boy but I was actually you know reading where Jesus was healing people and he would just go up to them or he would tell them be healed so I put my Bible down Debo standing in front of me in his crutches and I said, Debo, do you believe God can heal you? And he said, yeah, you know, kind of nonchalantly. And I just put my hand out on Debo's knee and I said, be healed in Jesus' name. Didn't know it was going to happen, but I took a risk. Debo's knee and his swelling that was from his torn ACL went down instantly. Debo put down his crutches. He started putting weight on his knee. He started jumping on his knee. Next thing I know, Debo is outside of my dorm room, running up and down the hallways, doing high knees, yelling, praise God. 
Debo got healed instantly in front of my very eyes. At that moment, I realized that taking risk is not only beneficial for my life, but it's affecting other people's lives. And so if I would have took that first route and I would have just settled and I would have been like, you know, healing's not for today. Why? Because I've prayed for one person and they didn't get healed. You know what? I couldn't settle for that. And so since that very moment, I've prayed for, I mean, I've tried to keep track, probably a couple hundred people. And I've seen amazing miracles. I've seen people when they've had broken bones, I've seen them come back together and they can move their, that appendage again. I've seen people with torn ligaments in their knees and their foots and their shoulders come back and they're able to use them instantaneously, even perform their same sport that they were injured in that very day. I've seen people who were deaf for their entire life begin to hear for the very first time. And so not only did I experience all these great and amazing miracles by stepping out, I prayed for a lot of people and nothing happened. Absolutely nothing happened. But you see, I was willing to take that risk because as believers, we're not meant to know all the answers. We're not meant to have all the answers. We're meant for the answer to have us. And so that's what I let Jesus do. I let him have me and I let all the desire for me to have the answers go. And what did I do? I just live a life of risk. Any chance I get, any opportunity I get, I'll pray for someone. And more times than not, I'm seeing miracles because I'm stepping out. And so I want to encourage you today, if you're a believer, that's what Jesus came to give you. And don't be afraid if nothing happens the first time, try the second time. You know, I've actually heard of people who've prayed for others hundreds of times to not see anything happen, but they kept going, they kept believing, and then they got that breakthrough and they began to see healing and miracles take place more than ever before. So if you've never seen the healing or you don't believe it, why don't you just try? Why don't you take a risk? Because someone out there is waiting to see Jesus. Someone out there is waiting to experience God like they've never experienced before. So I hope this encouraged you. I hope this pushed you. I hope this challenged you. Until next time, enjoy having another thought.